Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Rise and Fall, Civilizations at War, with me, Euroclaw. So, it's been a little while since i played this. I have done three other LPs on this game, and uh, I think it's about time I played as the final faction, uh, the Romans. Uh, they are a very heavy infantry faction, as you probably would guess. Uh, I'll explain more about the factions when we get into the game. But uh, this is kind of the game setup we're going to go with. We're going to have one of each different kind of player. And, uh... We'll leave the last guy on random. And we'll play on the Babylon map. We have high resources, lock teams, no reveal map, and difficulty 7. Sure. I might die because I've not played this game in a while. Uh, but we'll be playing on the Babylon map and we'll just do a free for all because this is a nice map and I don't think I've done a free for all yet. Uh, sorry if this intro seems a bit rushed. I, um, I did do a couple of these beforehand but. There are some weird audio and visual glitches, so uh, hopefully I've uh, sorted those out. Doesn't matter, they weren't great intros anyway. Uh, so I've got to have to play this game again. Man, everyone seems so slow. Hopefully that's just me. Okay, hopefully he's chopping down the right tree. Uh, let's get a bunch of citizens. So I'm playing this in... or rather I'm recording it in 1080p 60... well, I'm recording it in 720p 60fps, but um... My window is 1080p size. Hopefully that doesn't uh, do too many terrible things to the game. It shouldn't do. I, I'm pretty sure I can run with this without any problems, but uh, sometimes this game right at the end gets a bit laggy, so... As with most games. Uh, but the Romans are, uh, are an interesting faction. They're kind of like your... your standard... Uh, actually, no, you build me a barracks. I want barracks quickly. We're kind of like standard uh, soldier, base, easy to play as kind of race, or I guess faction. Um, they've got a bunch of really good swordsmen and spearmen, but uh, they. They, uh, I don't really know what they suck at. They just kind of. They're just well balanced. They've got the best swordsmen in the game, but uh, their spearmen are kind of lacking in some of their archers a little bit. Um, they've got some really awesome stuff like this catapult here, the, the Palintonus. I, I, I'm sorry if there's a proper pronunciation for that, which I'm pretty sure there is, but um, I, I, I'm not an ancient Rome guy, or in any way Italian, so um, I will butcher those names and I will not feel bad about it. Okay, let's see what they've got for... Um, what are these people called? Advisors? Proof wood gathering rate, yeah. Solomon training time, I'll, I'll grab that because I can. Their starting ab advisors do not seem as powerful as the other factions. Uh, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it, it's been a while since I last played. Uh, but I kind of. Wait, why are you not. Oh, <laughs> I thought I selected a unit then. My bad. Uh, let's get two of those and five of those. I'm getting this spearman just so I can use them to scout. I've only been like, playing Rise and Fall recently. We, uh, I played some Supreme Commander off camera, and that's uh, got me back into a, a bit more back into the strategy game. So uh, let's let's see what we can do in this Rise and Fall. Yes. What about the job? That sucks. So am I. And uh, yeah, hopefully this will this will go well. But as I said, I've not played in a while, so the AI might kick my ass. Although I do have years of practice of this. Uh, so while we've got some downtime here, I suppose I should mention that uh, this game is technically free. In a... well, I say technically, it, it basically is free. Uh, let's go and get you to do some scouting. Uh, yeah, that up there will do. You kind of follow him. Go kind of round there like that. You go around the middle and check out what's everywhere else. Uh, okay, you need to start chopping wood. And you should probably... You should probably build a tower up here, to be honest. Keep the peoples out. But yeah, this game is technically free. And um, there are many... It's very easy to find. I'm sure you can Google Rise and Fall game. 
Uh, it can be a beggar to get working. I'll try and include links in the description for where I got my copy and everything. I mean, I do have a cased copy, uh, like a retail version, but... Uh, the retail... I think the retail version doesn't quite work on Windows 7, which is unfortunate. And even getting this to work on Windows 7, as I mentioned, was a pain in the ass. so... Wait, what am I doing? I need 10 of... 10 swordsmen. 5 archers. Oh, go for 10. Yeah, sure, why not? So if you do have problems getting this work, please, please consult Google uh, over me. I, I I might not be able to help you. In fact, I probably won't be able to help you very much. I'll only be able to say, just keep trying it again. Basically, for me to get this to work, I had to install it two or three times. Basically doing exactly the same steps. Uh, it's just on one of the times it worked. Uh, Google will definitely be your friend more than I will in this case. I might give basic help in the comments, but I will not be able to do too much. Especially if you're using like Windows 8 or 10. Okay, I really can't help with that. We're under attack. Okay, how are we scouting people's doing? Seems to be doing alright. Alright, you, uh, you build me a granary, because I would like to be able to build some glory statue soon. You get mining gold, because we're going to need that. And we got our first Roman formation. So one thing you might notice, uh, if you're watching these like all side by side or uh, something like that, you might notice that the all the different factions have a different kind of formation. Like you can see here that Romans are very ordered and like very close together and they actually look like they're in square formation. Whereas as you get further and further away from like the organized quote unquote uh, factions like the Romans and the Greeks uh, into the Egyptians and Persians, you slowly start to notice that they become less and less ordered. And that they're kind of more... Uh... Oh look, we've got another Rome. Was that the random faction or did I add one of those in? I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, they get more and more disordered, so it kind of gives a bit of feel to the units, which is quite nice. It serves no po purpose, but it's quite nice. Well done, sir. Uh, you come back here and build build a glory statue. You're right there. You get some gold. You chop down some wood. We're gonna need more wood. It's also kind of tempting to build another barracks so I can get units out faster. But I'd like to be able to get up here and take this. Anywhere else? Where are we under attack? Oh, up here? Yeah, probably. Run away! Hurrying. Don't let them blink you. Going. Oh, is there a way down there? Do they have a back way into there? Complete. No, they don't. Okay, never mind. Moving. I thought they had like a back way in, like in the Abyss map. I just another really good map. Are uh, you. Get back here and. Um, start chopping wood more, I guess. 350 town centre. I forgot how expensive that was. We're under attack. Okay, and we've almost managed to train Germanicus Caesar. Uh, Romans have two different choices of heroes. They've got Germanicus Caesar and Julius Caesar. Uh, I'm pretty sure Julius Caesar is pretty useless. Uh, I don't often play as Romans, to be honest. I'm more of an Egypt or Greece guy, but uh, Germanicus Caesar's ability is just far better. It's uh, he can like he has sort of this special roar that makes people run away from him, uh, which is pretty awesome. Like you, you just you send an army to go and attack him, he roars and they all run away. Uh, Daniel, D guy twenty one has uh, done that a lot to me. That was very much a tactic he employed. It was annoyingly effective. Running. Julius Caesar's ability on the ha other hand is uh, a little strange. It's basically he can choose precisely where the ballistas and stuff attack, which is 
kind of nice, but in another way it should also be a default feature. Like I shouldn't have to... I should be able to do that automatically, like target ground. And uh, it's pretty lame when compared to all the other units' uh, abilities to be honest. I can't even take the rapid fire or multi-shot bows of the Persians over the Julius Caesar's precision fire. I mean, as I said, I've not played Romans map that much. Uh, perhaps there is more to Julius Caesar than meets the eye. If there is, I do not know it. I wonder if killing these horses contributes to my glory. Find out. Stab it. Wow, he's a durable horse. These are very durable horses. I don't know if I want to sit here and watch, to be honest. Uh, you... Oh, hi, Skirmisher, you made it back, alive. That's impressive. Um, go in that general direction. No particular reason. Alright, we're going to need a new barracks. You, come over here, build me a barracks. And ah yes, the uh, Gladiator Colosseum, the special ability of the uh, of the uh, Romans here. Basically it spawns a bunch of gladiators up to 12 per building, I think. I think that's the default. Uh, so you can basically have a constant supply of gladiators, who are decent units. Uh, there you can see the uh, date and time I was recording this. Oh, combat music. I love the music in this game, by the way. It's uh, it's right up there, probably even over Tor Sins, to be honest. It just feels so combaty. Take out those dribbles. Okay, we're gonna need to start to be more aggressive. Oh, they changed their targets. They're coming to fight. That was a poor decision. Don't even need to send in my uh, swordsman. Right, uh, research a ballista and build one. They're always lovely for enemies to fight. Okay, and then you build me another unit of these guys. Uh, combine. You're 30. Okay, you guys come around here. Kind of wish I could zoom out the camera more. I don't think there's anything I can, I can do about that. Ah, a Greek soldier. Come on guys, path around that tree. I believe in you. I have another guy that's almost three, kind of. And you can come over here and build another turret. I'm favouring turrets over walls at the moment because I want to be a bit more mobile. Whoa! Okay, this is a uh, this is a Greek force that I need to kind of take care of. I need to turn around and start fighting. I don't know. Managus, teach these guys who's boss. Hmm. Okay, so he's falling back. He's getting his improved units to fight me. This was not what I had in mind. I, uh, I had hoped that I'd just be able to go up there and take that tower. Apparently these guys have other ideas for me though. Also I've not been keeping track of time and I have no way to know how long this episode's been going. Um, that's kind of awkward. Okay, time to go hero mode. Use my raw! I can't use my raw! I can, it's just wrong key! Uh oh, damn it! <laughs> Uh, archers, kill that guy. Jamaicans run away. Units, retreat, retreat! No, not my hero. Fall back, fall back, run away, run away! Okay, so I was kind of right about my, uh, <laughs> my skill level at the moment. Take more of these guys. Be quick about it. Take that guy out! Except you, Jamaicans, you run away! Draw them into our combat. 
Don't let their town guard do its job. Okay, catapult him. Yes. Ish. Yes, ish. Don't hit our building. Thank God it can phase through our stuff. We, we are very technologically advanced. Okay, fight those guys. Take out the Greeks. Germanicus, you, you sit back here and heal for a little bit. Think about what you've done. Alright, so we've got the money, we can start building more units. Keep pumping them out. Not enough gold. Oh god, they're going they're going crazy. Oh my archers, my archers! Oh that's a lot of Greek cavalry. That's an awful lot of Greek cavalry. Alright, fall back guys. Fall back dudes. No no, you two, fall back. All of you dudes stand your ground. I just take out those archers. Listen to your general. Keep your formation. All right. Let's see what we've got for advisors. Hit points, naval units, doubles gold from taxation. That's pretty nice. Let's get rat catcher and tax collector. It's one of the two things I like to do with my time: collect racks, rats, and then tax for people. All right. <laughs> Ignore how these puddles have waves. Yeah, the moon here is very big. Oh, you see someone? Tell me, Catwalk, what do your Catwalk I see? It's a Greek hero. Aim for his legs. Right, well, um, this, I suppose, kind of feels like a natural end to an episode. I'm sorry if this is super short, but, um, I suck at tra keeping track of time, so, um, I'm gonna end this one here. And hopefully next time I won't die.